So it's May 27th at, I guess, 6.30 so um, at night. So it's, um, I'm having my oatmeal with the ground flax and the Saskatoons. Um, it's awesome. And like, I can't believe, I think about it, how I used to hate oatmeal unless it had had loads of brown sugar and cream on it. And now it's just, this is just great to me. Uh, Saskatoons are plenty sweet enough somehow. I don't know, it's weird. I guess the taste change. Well, I guess if you start your day with ginger cabbage shoes, everything that follows is awesome. I made a lot. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. James wanted the rest of my um, Greek salad, so I um, chopped up a few more ingredients to add to it because I didn't have that much left. And um, he wanted some toast with it, so I toasted some sprouted um, Super 16 or whatever it's called bread. And um, I chopped up a pineapple earlier and juiced um, the core and stuff that wasn't like the parts of the pineapple that I didn't like I don't juice the tops the tops I just stick in the in plant pots and sometimes they grow for a few years And given as they're bromeliads, I don't even think I need to stick them in plant pots. I think I could just, like, I could probably glue them to the side of the plant pot, and they'd be just fine. Yeah, maybe I'll try to wire some to something or something. See, see if they do okay. Like maybe I could stick them all like, you know how I have the hanging wire baskets for flowers? Well, I could stick them all around the outside of the thing. Mm. And I was checking out garden, garden centers this morning, because I love to. Um, James was shopping for some other things, so I just went to the garden center. And I noticed that um, one of the garden centers was selling little bonsais. So expensive. So, yeah, definitely consider when you're weeding your yard of little tree seedlings think huh maybe I should that's what I'm thinking of doing I'm sure not gonna buy a bonsai for $35 for a little one I'd rather start my own
it's not. Pretty cool. Boy, that show is way worse than I remember it being. It's from the 70s, early 70s. So you'd seen it already? Well, not this particular show. This oh. is like uh, a uh, sheriff, not so much a cop show. It's a series. Mm -hmm. Starring a movie, I wouldn't necessarily say quality actor, but a, <laughs> an established movie actor. You know, Glenn Ford. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, I just stuck that tape on while... Was, was it part of the it. same thing? Like, is it just a bunch of westerns, or what is yeah, it? Yeah, there's yeah, four yeah. on the same disc. Westerns, okay. So what they did was they just, they're putting together movies, and mm -hmm. gee, it's just really, really crazy. Because, uh, you know, it's... Well, we would have paid a buck for it. Well, I've no problem with that. It's just they were... Yeah. Anyway. And that's like a DVD to me. Yeah, I'm guessing we bought it when we... Remember that one time that I was telling you, look, there's all these westerns here? And you're like, yeah, let's get them all then. Mm -hmm. And I... Because you thought that I wanted them. And I was just asking you if you wanted them, yeah. and neither one of us wanted them. Yeah. And now we have all these westerns to watch. Yeah, I mm. Those John, this, these things were way better than the John Wayne things. Those John Wayne. Yeah, those were terrible. The worst movies I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Well, he was one of the worst actors ever. What a poser! Stupid idiot. I'm amazed he didn't become U.S. president instead of Reagan. I think Reagan had some acting chops. He's fairly good at lying in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Did that one taste good? Reasonably good. Well, it should have. I know it's just uh, with the juices now, I can't stand any of them. I think if I drink orange juice, I'd hate it. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Actually, it was partly the chemo. Hmm. It's them so mm -hmm. I've never recovered from that. Like, you notice I don't like oranges the way I used to. Mm. It's incredible when you get that kind of nausea how much fruit turns your stomach. Mm. Just looking at it. I should be making you buckwheat groats every day. Why is that? The way troll. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. Let a troll my work. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if there's the apricots that actually work. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many people have apricots as regular part of their diet? Mm -hmm. Not many people. Yeah, well, apricots are high in iron, if I remember correctly. They're supposed to be good for cancer or bad? Well, um, a lot of people would say no. Because if you're eating iron, it's going to interfere with zinc absorption, right? 
but mm-hmm. I think you know you need you need both. You need iron. You need zinc. Just well, I think so. Same sort of thing. I mean, you need your blood to be able to throw oxygen around your system, right? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I I would say, I would say it's a good thing. Just not at the same, you want to make sure that you're getting zinc at some point, Mm -hmm. not at the same time as your iron, right? Because Mm -hmm. you're not going to absorb it Mm -hmm. when you're, and vice versa, right? Presumably there's a reverse effect, but that wouldn't be guaranteed. Mm. But yeah, that would be one way of dealing with it. I can't believe I actually finished that whole bowl. Do you remember Kevin Spacey playing Bobby Garrett? No. I don't playing know the who that 50s person rock is. and roll. Okay. He actually did a pretty good job. Yeah. Oh, meal stuck to my teeth now. How was the guy who's playing Billy the Kid in that show? Bobby Garrett. Mm. The sad thing is, he did a pretty good performance, but directing was awful. Well, that one woman who was acting? Wow. The Spanish woman? Yeah. Yeah, she was pretty good. That was something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess they picked her for her looks. I think they picked her up off the streets of L.A., East L.A., right? Yeah, for her looks. Mm Mm-hmm. How's the salad? Is it okay? I brought olive oil just in case you want some on it. It's pretty good. You can drink my water if you need to. I obviously didn't bring you enough. You're all three. Yeah. I always need something to wash the juice down. So thanks for grabbing it. We're getting it. What do you think about that bread? Oh, I like it great. Yeah, it's I like kind it of bread too. I like. Zillion and one grains. I guess that's oatmeal on the outside. Well, 16. There we go. That's kind of like the record. <laughs> yeah. Planning my recipes for this upcoming rain week. Yeah, gonna be funny if it didn't appear. Who knows? You didn't leave water on it, your house, did you? Okay, good. It's a good question. Well, I don't remember. Yeah, I turned it off when you were in the back. I took the sprinkler and hit it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so, good. Because we don't want to have to pay for another one of those. That one was expensive. It was expensive. Mm-hmm. I think it was $35, wasn't it? I wonder. I don't think I'm exaggerating. No, I don't think so. I was thinking over 30. Yeah. I wasn't thinking over 40s. Yeah. Someone there. We've got service out of it. It hasn't broken down. Yeah. The 
that's true. It's important to get that water spread out even. I've been happy with it. I haven't minded that expenditure. Mm -hmm. well, I'm just, I'm very impressed with you that you're keeping squash alive. Well, we'll see. I mean, all it takes is uh, one week of not doing it properly. Well, once you get to them to a certain point, their leaves help. Like, once their leaves are shading the soil, mm -hmm. they'll really hold the moisture for themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just getting them to that point. Oh, they could get burned up so quickly. I know. But you're doing well so far. Mm -hmm. I want to get overconfident. Anyway, it's yeah. working on it. Yeah, that was some bad honeydew. Wow. I know, eh? Or cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, sorry. Tastes yeah. like cardboard. That bad? It's not sweet. No taste at all. Yeah. Well, somewhat bitter. Yeah. Texture, though. Yeah, it's crunchy like an apple. I think it's been modified to. You know how cantaloupes go rotten oh, quickly? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what they would have done. I bet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that helps with the shipping if you grow it as hard as an apple. Shipping and storing. Yeah. And in a few years, nobody will remember what cantaloupe are supposed to taste like anyway. They'll be dead from the genetically modified thing. Who knows what they put in there? Yeah. Dinosaur copper light genes? I don't know. I don't know. They're just becoming a part of us. Mm -hmm. They should have started mapping the human genome earlier so that they could try to reconstruct what a human should be because honestly that's a hilarious thought yeah. they didn't get the real thing so yeah you build me my time machine so that I can go back in time and you gotta wait until I've figured out how to map the human genome for myself and then, then send me back and I'll look at some real humans before genetic modification. Yeah. He's doing it now is a little bit Even if you think about it, I wonder how many modifications have been made just um, through environmental exposure to things or whatever, right? I mean, they're saying now that um, things that, say, your mother did or whatever, would have influenced your genes. And that's not even talking about like the medication that she took while she was pregnant with you. Yeah. It's just whatever she would have done, like say she was exposed to something when you weren't even a part of the picture, her okay. genes got monkeyed and that monkeyness transferred to you or whatever, right? Yeah. yeah, there was that story about Hippieville. I don't remember what it's called. Alberta, mm. where they used, I guess, a lot of psychoactive chemicals in their kids or coneheads. You were saying, right? Yeah. Mm. Haven't seen it, so don't know if it's true. Yeah, no. yeah, I suspect. It's probably true. But I mean, you don't know how much of that's in vitro. Right? Like, you don't know if the women were pregnant and taking, I don't know, psilocybin mushrooms or something while pregnant. Yeah, 
that's probably the majority of it, but it's hard to say. Yeah. Anyway. Stupid idiot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of people who I don't know what they're thinking. They they're certainly not thinking of the welfare of whoever is in their uterus. Yeah. Or the welfare of their kids after the born. Yeah. I don't know if they're thinking if they are selfish or just. A lot of people don't think. Yeah. Selfish or something else. It seems selfish. It's too bad. As I've said in connection with a certain somebody, oh, yeah. um, she hates herself as much as she hates anyone else, or is negligent. Yeah. But, you know, oh, I definitely shouldn't be talking about her. It could be anyone. I really don't like thinking about her. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she has so many babies. And she'll just keep having them. And half of them will be born without brains because she's on drugs. And... I have no babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes life ain't that fair. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, okay. What do you do, right? Maybe the next time around. Something like that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Annafred was uh, trying to. Like Ooh. my mosquito bites better. Oh, that, I thought she hurt you that way. Oh, you would have but. heard about it. <laughs> she bit me. No, she's been nice. She's a nice girl. I, I well, just see. to everyone but to Angel. Well, she's nice to her half the time. Oh, well, she, which is a lot better than what she used to be. It used to be 101% of the time. I mean, half the time, she's her best friend. Yeah, well, that's, Angel goes out of her way to be good friends. Well, she does, yeah. She deserves to be your best friend. Well, right now, Annaford sometimes likes you. Kiss Angel and stuff like that. I know. The other day, you know, Angel and Paris were right next to each other. Mm -hmm. Annaford started uh, kissing Angel all over the face. <laughs> she gave Paris a couple of licks. <laughs> Poor Paris. Paris didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she's never liked her, her mom. Mm hmm. And vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Paris has never liked her. Well, she, she never really like, liked her kids. Just let that though, one die. Mm, well, <sighs> it wasn't that. I'm sure you'd see that with most mothers out in the wild. They just take care of them. Once. So they would They're make. strong, yeah. Look how strong Annafred is now, though. Oh, she's amazing. things to watch in the background to keep the dogs entertained. Yeah, they seem so to like those things. So you can read a good book. Yeah. That's, that's about it. Or do something else. Clean the house or whatever. 
They're good for keeping the dogs entertained. That's what a lot of the movies that we have on are really for. Yeah. I guess that's what people do with their children, too. They stick on the TV and then they can get their own stuff done. Could be. I really like Disney Fast Play. I think every movie should be Disney Fast Play. What is that? Just plays. And then oh. when it gets the end, it just goes around at the beginning again. Mm -hmm. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Stuck in a Disney, Disney movie. So awesome. Mm -hmm. They were pretty smart for thinking that up. Yeah, it's one of the few smart things they've done the last generation. Well, the Pixar thing. Mm -hmm. And acquiring the studio Ghibli or Ghibli or whatever it's called. I don't that, know. That's that. Um, hmm. The you know the Asian stories like Spirited Away and. No really. Uh, well, they're good. Okay. They're the animation's excellent. Mm -hmm. So they do a good job hooking up with people who are actually good animators. Talented. Or you yeah. have to actually care. Yeah. I'm not saying I like all of those movies, or the Pixar movies, mm -hmm. but you know, they, they have a talented team, mm -hmm. each of them have talented teams, and a lot of people work on those, so like if it's you amazing. look at the credits on those things, credits it's like, wow, yeah. yeah, so many people involved with all that. And it shows, you know. A lot of the time they've, they've managed to pull something off that's mm. worthwhile. Sometimes I wonder about the credits. I'm wondering if it's like the sandwich gopher, you know, and the oh. coffee gopher. Well, yeah, there's probably those kind of people there. But I don't actually don't think so. I think they just use a lot of people. Yeah. I thought it would be the other right way around when they got a lot of technology. person to do it. Anyway, so I'm going to try making a pineapple basket, um, pineapple hanging basket. Hmm. Oh, there's a pineapple growing in it. Growing on the outside. I just, I was telling the camera about it that I oh, think okay. it's a good idea. Because, I mean, for a pineapple plant to have pineapples on it, they're humongous. <clears throat> but mine never get that big. Mine get to be maybe twice as big as they are when I stick them in the soil. And I was telling the camera that they're bromeliads, so they probably don't even really need the soil at all. So I'm thinking of just putting them on the outside of hanging baskets and then they grow like on the outside of it. Mm 